attention please. Your attention please. Your attention please. We go live from Brazil with Bobby D. It's the last day of April. Can you believe it? 2022. Anyway, we're going to have an amazing guest coming in from Greece in a moment. Just want to give you a little bit of a protocol just in case you're uh, you're new on the channel here. And um, certainly I want to welcome you. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel because that's how you get to interact in the live chat. All right. So you want to do that because uh, we're going to open up for Q&A for sure. Uh, we see some people and uh, it's wow. It's great that uh, people are dropping in that early in the webcast. So welcome, welcome. And uh, so subscribe to the channel here at Bobby D Live. All right. And um, for those of you who want to know a day in advance when the next guest is coming, because on YouTube, when you subscribe and, you know, you put the reminder on for a live webcast, you'll only get reminded when we go live. So what I've created is a, 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 just a simple page where you can enroll, get VIP reminders the day before who's coming on the live show. So go to addme.bobbydlive.com. That's addme.bobbydlive.com bobbydlive.com and just put your name, email address, and uh, I'll notify you the day before because we're busy, right? But remind you that, hey, we have amazing guests like we're going to have today. So you definitely, uh, yes, you want to do that, right? Okay, so cool. So without further ado, let me just, um, just give you a quick synopsis about our guest today from feelmorethanfine.eu. I met him, a, oh, probably going to close on three years online, um, but we only connected live um, beyond text chat uh, several weeks ago. And uh, I wanted him to share his brilliance, his wisdom, his way of thinking, his way of being actually versus his way of thinking, because he seems to be calm no matter what goes on in his life, right? And um, so Nikos Akrivos is from Greece and we may be disconnected at times during the webcast because of internet related issues, but don't panic. We'll find ways to reconnect if that happens, but we're going to ask the divine to keep us connected, keep connected with you. And uh, again, welcome. And without further ado, let me go to beautiful Greece with Nikos, beautiful Nikos, my man. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I say uh, high vibes, high vibes, high vibes, everyone. High vibes. I let's like that. Let's go. Instead, let's go. Instead of high five, high vibes. High vibes. Love high it, vibes, man. High vibes. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So you're doing good. You're always doing good. You're always feeling more than fine. Nikos? <laughs> I do my best. I don't always feel more than fine. I, ah. I say uh, I feel good more often than not. And then uh, it's a good uh, option uh, to choose to feel more than fine. It's a good intention for my day. Yeah. Because. Uh, Choosing to feel good, choosing for all the choices that makes us feel good at any moment brings us alignment with our true nature, our truth within, and feeling good is feeling God. Uh, like so um, the more we are into this energy, the more we also attract what we want in our lives. Yeah. And then it's about allowing, receiving, and everything we ask, it's already done. So we just have to allow the energy and by feeling good, feeling more than fine, we attract more of this, of course. Yeah, wow, that's, that's, you know, what you just said, you know, it's so profound and deep. And, and, and I'm not um, expecting all viewers that are dropping on the channel to totally understand the depth of what Nikos is going to say. But clearly, if you're dropping on the channel for either the live or the archives because you were meant to be. You were meant to make a connection. You were meant to increase your awareness. But before we get into topic of conversation, Nikos and I agreed we go ad lib. We didn't prepare notes. We didn't prepare presentation. We have an idea of where we want to go with the conversation, but it's going to be uh, a, a blessed. We're, it's going to be uh, channeled, I guess, if that's the right word, Nikos. We're going to allow it to flow the way it's supposed to flow in real time right now. Yes? Yes, absolutely. Uh, basically, it's about allowing source because what I do is just allowing the source to speak through me. So I work with the angels, the archangels, Mother, Father, God, Supreme Creator. So I make like a small meditation before we start, like we did today, also yes. to Beautiful. 
and basically I just my ego steps away and I allow the energy to speak through me so you do the same thing yes we do this now that's what I was talking about a moment ago we're gonna ask Nikos to come back to come back come back Nikos come back Nikos we, we get disconnected because he's on a a Wi-Fi mobile and uh, remotely from uh, the big cities in Greece but we're, we're gonna have Nikos back don't worry he always reconnects with us and uh, there he is he's back see he's back it didn't take the interruption is in purpose because it brings silence to the moment Ooh. and we need to hear the, we need to hear the silence we need to hear the silence between the words so it's a gift coming from on high so let's please accept this gift this silence in between so beautiful and see? allow the silence to speak for itself film yes so I, I like I like your website. Not that I have time lately to spend a lot there, but it, it's so profound. So um, let's get started today with maybe telling the viewers who don't know about you about uh, feel more than fine and, and just give them the gist of what they can expect in depth of knowledge and wisdom. Because you talk about everything there, like from health to meditation to financial situation to what else music the importance of music we'll come back to that because that's very dear to our soul both of us we love music and uh so uh, let me uh pop that on screen so people to follow along and um so nikos tell us about or tell the viewers what they can expect when they go to feel more than fine dot e u Okay, so film on fine is basically a, a website and the work I have been doing this last uh, 12 years now, it's started from basically music because uh, I was a DJ, I was a musician and then uh, a producer as well and I started making these events, um, sober parties, so healthy events and workshops and basically playing music only in front of a crowd that is 100% sober and oh, wow. cautious, conscious celebrations. So it started like that. I was the first one doing some yoga and combining it with this. And I did many events in the past uh, and many humanitarian events, uh, volunteering for many events and uh, bringing many healers together in these events. And then progressively, as we went from 2012 and beyond, um, I started understanding that actually we are in this process, in this time of humanity and going to this human evolution, that this time is going much faster than previous generations, hmm. our fathers and our grandfathers. And uh, we are into this process of, of uh, it's called ascension basically, the ascension of humanity, the human evolution that is uh, speeding up right now. And uh, then, of course, the website adapted to that and my work as well. So from being a, uh, just a DJ, I became a life coach and I, I became a uh, ascension guide. And my work, uh, I'm also a healing DJ, basically. So, so from therapist, I, I basically play music to help the people to to, to dance and, and, and celebrate and, um, and, and, and basically uh, heal uh, through dancing, basically. And so this all combines in, in what I offer on the website. So this is like the fun part. It is also the, uh, the manifestation part uh, as a collective. And of course, the financial system and also the many projects we have uh, as a collective, like free energy, uh, like uh, children uh, that um, uh, need to be supported in in third world countries, uh, people homeless homeless people, um, many many different projects uh, that um, and, and need to be and uh, seen and need to be uh, need to have solutions for. While I'm speaking about these things and I'm uh, basically uh, showing my perspective on these subjects. The, the best closures I can without too much um, giving too much uh, to the, uh, the readers 
And at the same time, I offer this higher dimensional perspective because I connect a lot with the angels, they are angels, and they speak to me. And also we have many different channelings from other uh, channelers around the planet that also share their, their uh, uh, messages because I resonate with that. So it is basically a, 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 a transition website. Mm going from three dimensional life to fifth dimensional life so go from 3d to 5d so it's basically uh, allowing each and everyone no matter where you stand in your understanding or no matter where you stand in your journey everybody can come on the website and find some something to to, to learn or to to uh, uh, get more into feeling what is really taking place within because the change is happening from within out so the COVID time was this, basically. We started this transition more for the collective. Let's talk about that a little bit. You mentioned the terminology 3D to 5D. For, for people who've never heard that, 3D for three dimension to fifth dimension. Explain what 3D is. Explain yes. how long we've been in that dimension as um, humanity and where that yes. transition is heading out it began about a year and a half ago i guess i think the age of aquarius i think right uh, going into yes. 5d explain 3d 5d for our viewers okay so 3d is the material physical world we see around us so everything that we perceive with our five senses basically hmm. this is 3d Got so it. everything that we see that we hear that we smell that we touch uh, that we uh, taste, taste. Uh, basically it's 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 3D, and and when you go beyond this these senses, when you go on the senses of intuition, and when you go on the senses of how do you feel, this is becoming more more of in another dimension, and everybody must have heard uh, uh, in the Bible saying uh, Jesus had said uh, the kingdom of God is within, mm. yes, so. Finding the kingdom of God within, finding this joy is 5D basically. So, so for example, I always say to anyone, uh, first thing in the morning, uh, just go within for 15 minutes and connect with your true nature. And by doing that, you connect with your five, fifth dimensional self, your higher self. Fifth dimension is higher self. And of course, uh, we can also do this in nature. We can do some exercises, some yoga. Everybody's different. I don't say just do meditation, maybe dancing, maybe an activity you like to paint. Maybe. All right, where is Nikos? That sounds like a, a movie in the making. Where is Nikos? He's still not here, but he'll be here. We, uh, we went through this a, a few times. Now, hopefully his connection didn't totally, here he comes. Here he comes. Here comes Nikos. He's back. Here comes Nikos. Here comes Nikos. I was saying that that should be a movie. Where is Nikos? Where is Nikos? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, silence. Yeah. The silence is magic. Uh, the silence you. brings us yes. the message that I cannot bring you with words, basically. Yeah, yeah. So we got interrupted when you were talking about the the five physical senses being in the 3D. And, and, and a lot of people are there. And a lot of people make all of their decisions based on their five physical senses, the, um, the 3D dimension. And, and we've been programmed, uh, for me, my entire life to make decisions that way. And uh, But it's very deceiving. And uh, it's like, the 3D, from what I understand, Nikos, and expand upon that, is a very small percentage of the reality, even though we don't see it. So what do you say to people say, well, like, come on, show me the money in the bank account, or, you know, I got to see things to believe. And that's 3D, okay. isn't it? So help uh, us out with there. Yeah. Yes. So let's, let's take the example of money, for example. Okay. Yeah. So this is the subject that I believe the biggest percentage of uh, the collective is uh, basically preoccupied. So um, let us say that you want to have uh, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 dollars in your account right now. And then I come with my theory and I tell you, well, listen, if you uh, focus, if you ask, okay, if we ask God, universe, 
it's already given. So it's already so then, given. Expand on that, Nikos. It's already given. So, <laughs> so when we ask something, this is the first step. When we ask something, it's already given. So this means that we don't doubt the creator. Mm -hmm. It's already given. Whatever we ask, it's already given. So there's no doubt about this. You don't have to ask 10 times and pray, 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 pray all the, all the time. You ask once and then with gratitude, you continue the days being in gratitude because you're receiving this gift you're and receiving. the blessing, whatever it is that you like. We, we just have to keep on being great, grateful for our day and seeing, being grateful for all the small things around us. And that creates actually alignment with bringing this big amount this big pile of money in our lives but if you say for example okay uh, i don't have money and your mind continues to think the whole time i don't have money i don't have money i don't have money well guess what you're you are creating the same reality for yourself so so basically 3d to 5d is this is basically seeing what's happening in 3d Mm -hmm. Okay, there is there is a reality, and then at the same time, believing what you have asked, it's already given. So being grateful, appreciating everything in my three-dimensional reality, the simple small things, the air I breathe, the uh, the trees, the nature, the food I'm having on the table, the roof over my head, all the small things. And more and more, finding all the simple things brings what I have asked to my reality. So, so when I do this, when I do this simple process of gratitude, this is 5D. Because basically, what I'm doing is I am doing everything I can to feel good in the moment, to feel more than fine in the moment. So, I'm I'm playing games with my mind and with my heart opening my heart yes playing this game and the more i play this game during my days the more i make this a habit so this is a habit that i have to create for myself instead of just maybe being an ingurgitator of what i maybe i choose to watch the same news every day and just watch 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 and see what happens in the on the planet and this is not creating anything right. and yet if i choose a few times in my days in my day to be in this place of gratitude and write things down and there is so many practices you can do there is like huge many many different things that i share on the website by the way beautiful and then then we can create this 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 feeling good moment and basically only 17 seconds of feeling good, being aware the way we feel and choosing a, a thought that feels good already creates this moment of bringing, magnetizing what we wish for. So this is all about, all about creating this habit. It doesn't happen from one day to another. And yet when I say just start every day, every morning, 15 minutes and just be in this energy of of nothingness, connecting with the Creator and uh, asking the your guides, the angels, archangels, what is your your belief system? It's okay. So when you connect with with, with the higher energy and then you stay for 15 minutes, that is creating enough energy for the whole day. So you don't need to do more work during the day. If you do just that, wow. And if also during the day you also stay in this gratitude place for example i drink this water now and i say well i have this water thank you so much and i bless the water and i drink it just by doing that just by thanking all the people that participate in this there's so many ways to be thankful yeah thanking our own self and our body thanking my body thanking myself loving the self all this is feeling good all this is like simple ways to to, to feel good this is attracting also what I want, including money, including everything, a house, a new house, everything, all the material things come into our lives because basically 
we we feel good first for the, the the meaning of what you do is to feel good before having it because when you have something it is conditioned yes so basically when you want something including money it's basically because you think you're going to feel good when you have it but basically it works the other side around nah. it's first feel feeling good. good before having it and then by feeling good already in the now you magnetize it so it's feel more than fine right now creates your future more and more wow so a couple a lot of things there i'm gonna have to re-listen to that portion of the audio but what i heard you take you you ask and you're in gratitude you're you're changing your energy you're in gratitude that it is going to be given and matt is um and matt matt I'm t thinking of Matt because we did so much work. Uh, Nikos is uh, disconnected, but he'll be back. He'll be back. But I'm just going to recap. Uh, he said 15 minutes, 15 minutes in the morning, and then also 17 seconds. I'm going to ask him about the 17 seconds. You're back, Nikos. You're back. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm just recapping what you said, but it's loaded. So um, gratitude. Ask. See it done. Seeing it done beyond the physical evidence is the 5d energy feel good take the time 15 minutes every day to get in the calmness in the gratitude and then th you talked about 17 seconds expand upon yes the 17 seconds because that is mind-blowing to me <laughs> okay so so i will say this very simple so everybody can remember remind remind remember this okay so this is the recipe of success. First thing, like you said, 15 minutes. Second thing, you have only to remember that what I will tell you now. There is nothing more important than to feel good or feel more than fine. Nothing more important. Nothing. So if you focus only on the way you feel each moment of the day, then you are on it. So the moment you catch yourself not feeling good for whatever reason, it is the moment to choose a thought that makes you feel good or to do something for yourself that makes you feel good. So if you do it only for 17 seconds, this 17 seconds, just making this, this small effort, we bring another thought for, an, for another seven seconds. And if you keep this for one minute, 68 seconds, and that's it, you have shifted your vibration and you become again a magnet and you're gonna feel good again. So, so it's about not only, it's about first being in this empty space and being a space of gratitude, the, mo the most you can during the day and then focusing always on the way you feel sometimes because for example now the energies are so strong we may not feel so good yes and it, it can become maybe sometimes for many hours it may be like that then this is the moment to be easy on ourselves mm -hmm. and not uh, beat up on ourselves because we don't feel good so ease is what we look for so being cautious about the way you feel and when you don't feel good, be easy on ourselves and okay. take it easy and take a nap, go to sleep ah. and do all these things that do all these basic things that most feel guilty to do during the day. If you take somebody who is working from nine to five, they will say, no, no, I cannot go to sleep now. I have to do things. Right. Well, this is about a shift. This is about learning to be holistic in our way of living and learn to not be feel guilty and feel choose for ease and that is magnetizing more the, out the outcome you want and you have fun along the way because we want you to have fun along the way the, the joy is the, the purpose is to feel joy along the way to, to have fun along the way so can you have fun all day long and attract what you want the answer is yes we can Yes. Yes, we can. It seems counterproductive, though. Like, you know, you okay, so I get it. You don't always feel great, but you can shift in 17 seconds. Now, now for me, 
I've been in a funk over the years and I've had my, my moments. You're aware of some of them. And, and what I've done, and again, it seems counterproductive. You're talking to a business person, say, listen, what are you doing breaking away from the rut by going and do your mega mix? Well, mega mix is my therapy. It puts me in joy, vibration, feeling good. And I forget about the problem. I shift. So how other music is powerful. We'll come back to the music in a moment. But how many other ways, like you said, take a rest. Like, okay, if you're at work, you're not feeling good. It's hard to rest. But can you go within and rest? Give us some ex tangible ideas for people who have traditional jobs or traditional mindset in business. Say, hey, hang on. This feels lousy. I can't break away from this. I got to deal with the issues. We're having a chaos in the company. What do you do? What do you do with that? So I would suggest that when it's like that, when it's chaos in, into, into this, uh, wherever you are in your uh, company, then this is the moment, even more reason to find the peace within. So even if you take one minute or 10 minutes, like, Everybody needs to go to the toilet, yes? yes? So take 10 minutes, go to the toilet and just center yourself. And and I'll say simple, I will make it very simple, okay? Whatever chaotic situations happens out there, the sun still comes out <laughs> in the east and goes to the west yeah. and the earth doesn't stop turning and the stars are around, keep on doing what they're doing. They don't need our uh, approval and our heart still still keep on beating yeah. so it doesn't need our approval it's the same thing so so taking the time to when you find your station yourself in a, in a chaotic situation taking your the time to go 10 minutes wherever you can mm. say guys i have to do something i go 10 minutes i need to go to the toilet yeah. And 10 minutes, take time for yourself, center yourself. When you come out of this, you will see that the energy will completely shift because one person connected to source is more powerful than millions who are not. Got it. Got so it. when you do this work, just finding the peace within, this is the work we all must do in this reality we live right now. So the more of us do this work, it's proven scientifically, yes. When many people go within at the same time, yeah. the uh, anything bad that happened on the planet goes down like 70, 80%. So it, it, there is scientific proof of all, all I'm sharing here with you. But at the same time, in a, on an individual, personal way, we are not just this body. We are electromagnetic beings. Right. This means we are electricity and magnets electricity because the blood circulating in our veins and arteries and 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 this this circulation of of blood is negative and positive if you if you look the the cells in the body measurable oh nikos will be back come back nikos come back to us nikos you'll be back he's talking about uh, we're electromagnetic magnets in essence he's talking about feeling good which is vibration and feeling good when we feel good i mean for example if we're in a meeting we feel good about ourselves people are going to respond positively so it's attraction it's vibration first then attraction nikos is back with us that was effortless nikos so you were talking about the electromagnetic the blood circulating when you get yes. cut off and that's measurable scientifically like you say i mean people go for medical yes. tests all the time they just don't tell you what's really going on <laughs> <laughs> so right. basically what I was saying is that when you have the blood circulating, yes. then you have electricity and electricity creates a magnet around us. So mm. it's an electro electromagnetic field. We are electromagnetic. Yes. Electromagnetic means we are vibration. So, so when you start to captivate a little bit of this, the vibration you are is the feeling we have at any given moment. Yes. So when you feel good, we are aligned with who we really are. And when you don't feel good, you are not aligned with who you really are. Mm. So any chaos, chaos out there, it means many people are not aligned with who they really are. Sure. And one person can find 
the calmness within and bring calmness to everybody else around them because the vibration, yeah. the electromagnetism of one person who is in higher vibration brings everybody also, also high. It's resonance, it's physics. Yeah, sympathetic so anybody, resonance, right? The, the law of sympathetic resonance. It's like two tuning forks, click one. It, it's like walking in exactly. a room. We've all met these people that have, and I think you're talking about it's electromagnetic, but do we refer to that as an aura? Is that the same? Like that person had an amazing aura. I could just feel it. Is, is that what you're talking about? Yes. The aura is the visual aspect in fifth dimensional terms. Yes. Uh, the way, what I speak of is the, um, the feeling of it, the, the feeling, feeling, the emotion, yes. the emotion, the emotional side of things. Not the visual. The visual is it's also the same because vibration and colors. It's also emotion. Yeah. But I'm speaking here now the feeling because the feeling is something that we all feel. We all have the power inside. Our biggest power we have is our emotions. We are made of eighty percent of water. Yes. So the water is our emotions in our body. So. When I say, for example, thank you, my body, thank you all the water in my body and blessing the water that I drink, thank you water, basically by saying thank you is proving Masaru Emoto, a Japanese yeah, that's scientific a that amazing that study. About this. Yes. So, so he proved what happens. So it's the same thing. We, we do the same thing. So when you bring gratitude to ourselves, we also shift the vibration around us and the whole planet, the whole collective, it's happening. Where you go one, you go all. This yeah. is not just no, just something nice. small, it's very big. One person can shift the whole collective. This is how powerful we are. We are not the, the drop in the ocean. We are the ocean in the drop. Wow. That's Rumi. Most, pe yeah, most people just don't believe it. So basically it's feeling, it's love, it's going inside what goes on inside. So that's the truth. That's for me, that's the only way I can find truth. Everything on the outside can be so manipulated through our 3D experience that people ask me, where, how do you know you're staring at truth? I said, I only know when I feel great. And I also know when I don't feel so great. That's the only truth. So that's, so you're talking about 17. Matt DeMeo, good buddy out of Tampa, says, what about the 17 seconds? And maybe you can recap on that. You, you've addressed it. I think there's a lag, and he, he asked the question before you answered it. But, but uh, let me recap it and add to it and correct me if I'm wrong. 17 seconds is all you need to shift the vibration. Literally, I could do that by putting the first 17 seconds of my favorite song on my headset. And then, Absolutely. and then you're saying 17 cents, 17 cents, 17, well, that could work. 17 seconds compounded into the next 17, into the next 17, into the next 17, and then it amplifies. Expand upon that. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, it's just about being aware of how you feel. So be aware. if you feel, if you don't feel good and you make the choice, the conscious choice to to uh, choose for to stay for 70 seconds with this vibration. For example, you put some music and start dancing. Yes. <laughs> Simple. You do you a lot of moving. that. Yeah, man. It you works. Start moving. It works. You, and you don't have and to you, dance for you two say, hours. And you yeah. say also, thank you, 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 thank you. If you oh, just do it. that for 70 seconds, no matter you what, you will not be able to go back to where you were. You will keep on dancing and say more thank you. And it works. You will see. It's just, it's just because the energies right now on the planet are so high. We are going higher and higher energies. So it's 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 a very fast to bring us in a higher vibration. So just by doing that, we become magnets of what we really want to bring in our reality. Very easy for you and I to do that at home because we're not surrounded by co-workers. But if you're in the middle of an office with cubicles and you get up and you say, yes, yes, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, they'll think you've lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very much 3D. I believe in these new, new realities, basically the ones who st stand up and, and have, let's say, the balls 
to yeah. do something different, to be different, they will be revered and they will be appreciated for being that different and showing the way to others. So you may make somebody I'm laugh sure. too, right? You're going to make someone laugh exactly. at the office. They're going to feel good too. They're going to feel more than fine, right? <laughs> exactly. Everybody, everybody loves somebody seeing somebody else dancing. No matter where it is, you can yeah. try test it anywhere you go. I do it everywhere I go. When I'm in the yeah. street and yeah. I start dancing in the middle when everybody's just intense so looking at their smartphone, yeah. Uh -huh. Or I start laughing very, very loud because sometimes I like to laugh very loud. It affects everyone. It does. But, you know, I have the balls to do it. <laughs> well, that's it. And uh, you know what? There's, speaking of that, yeah. laughing out loud in public, there's a, a video that was sponsored by a major corporation. I don't want to mention their name because I don't agree with their product. But they got a video of this guy in a subway in New York City. And he's, he's looking at his, uh, I think he's got an iPad. It could be a smartphone. And he's looking at it, and then he starts laughing. In a subway in New York City, people are very intense, but they're quiet. They don't want to be disturbed by anybody. And he starts laughing and laughing and amplifying his laughing and laughing. And all of a sudden, the ripple effect, everybody in that part of the train of the subway are laughing their head off, tears in their eyes. It's so to make to your point, uh, Nikos, and we lost Nikos, but he's coming back. Nikos, Bobby D live here with Nikos at Grivos out of Greece. We got uh, internet connection issues in this north part of Greece, but he'll be back. He'll be back. Nikos, he's back. See how quickly we got the manifestation going now. So yeah, so that that's to your point. I'm going to have to find that video on YouTube and, um, you know, we have to get that out because it's hilarious. I, I watch it and it makes me laugh. So all right, so 17 seconds. Matt, I hope you're, uh, that answered your question. I hope that uh, 17 seconds compounded the point, dancing. The, the point, point is, is to be able to laugh at without having a reason out there. So, without so if you can do that, yes, if you can do that, let's say that you don't have any reason to laugh. You don't have anything you can watch, yeah, because right. this is also conditioned. Yes. You can nope. just do that. <laughs> just laugh, provoke it. it it's Pro also your mind cannot recognize if it's really for some condition or not. Just by doing this, <laughs> just by doing that, it also raises your frequency. It's changing you just the physiology. Yeah, Tony Robbins talks about change your physiology Absolutely. and you can change your, your the way you feel. They, they've done studies years decades ago in solitary confinement of uh, people who were manic depressive and uh, they painted the cells pink but they had a little exercise i don't know how long i think for about 30 minutes a day they would have the inmate because they, they were locked in they would have them stare at the ceiling uh for 30 minutes a day and that naturally put a smile in it got them out of their depression so it's like, so dancing is just exaggerating that, amplifying it is probably a better word. So uh, very yes. cool. So music has a lot to do with it because law of sympathetic resonance, how we feel affects the outside, but music on the outside, which is a vibration, affects us on the inside. So you said some key earlier on. I knew you were a DJ, of course, because I listened to your mixes. They're amazing when, when you go live stream on Facebook and you're, you're doing your electronica and you're dancing and you're practicing, showing, demonstrating what you're talking about. Um, but I didn't know you were a musician. Now, I knew you had a record label at one time. I didn't know you were a musician. So tell us a little bit about that and then we'll talk about the impact of music on our well-being and why we have to have a healthy dose of it every single day. Yes, so um, I've been producing music, house music basically, for uh, now 12 years and no more, like 15 years. Wow. And um, this, is, this last year it shifted. I'm mostly focused on creating music on 432 hertz. So if you don't know, 432 hertz is the frequency of uh, the evolution. So um, if you look at look it up in the internet you will see that 42 hertz is a frequency that speaks that is uh, about uh, the uh, evolution of the planet so it works like a spiral of evolution so for example to give you an example the sun you have the earth going around like a spiral 
Mm-hmm. And then the movement, the creation of all life on the planet is or the plants, they also grow like a spiral. Mm-hmm. Everything grows like a spiral. So the cells grow like a spiral. So so this creation of music that we do production is 42 hertz. So I combine um, uh, my teachings and also the music and I create sounds like that that are more into this this house, tech house, techno genre. And uh, well, it's not for everyone. It's just, you just have to like this type of music, yes. but this is what I know. This is my, my craft, shall that's, we say. That's your love, that's uh, your I'm passion. Really... That's your vibration. Yes. Got it. Yes. It's good. By the way, you did but you say 40? Part, we're, did... We're... Oh, we're overlapping, Nico, my apologies. Did you say 40 hertz or 44 hertz? Four, 432. Oh, 432, 432 hertz. Got it. I got yes. it. That, that, yeah. And we have also another frequency that I have been working on, mm-hmm. which is 444 hertz. 444. The, okay. four, the 444 hertz, it's, it's the same like 520 hertz, which is the frequency of the heart. Ah, 520 is the heart? 528. 528. So you're saying the heart, like in the heart and love energy? Yes, the oh. low frequency is 528 hertz, it. and it's the same 444 hertz and 528 hertz is exactly the same. Got so it. it's just different different keys. So oh. so the one that I work mainly with those two, and there are many other frequencies that you can work on. So I've been um, experimenting with creating sounds with that to make them, let's say, more uh, in a in a in a dancing. Uh, way and I share also my um, my messages in there so uh, very let's say forward thinking messages creating the new and uh, I'm a visionary so I like to bring in a lot of the new I like to focus on creating the new so uh, I speak more about creating the new than what is happening around the planet so many times yeah. it's not yeah. so easy for people to be understood what I speak and yet people can see that what I was speaking a few years ago now it's happening so there you so, go uh, a, little, a little credibility right but, but people must have thought you were <laughs> like when you started out with this people must must have thought you're totally on drugs you're totally out there but you don't do drugs you don't even do alcohol you don't even do caffeine no so so it's great that no. you're getting validation and uh but yeah the old we can't go back to the old and, and, and to that point how do you unlearn the old which is the 3d conditioning if we expect to aspire to really be connected like you are and i'm comparing myself to you because i'm certainly not connected like you are i aspire to you're influencing me in a very positive way nico so you know so how do you let go of the past unlearn the past because we don't want to go back there i don't want to live back there I'm sure most people don't yes. want to go back there. So how do we go forward? Very easy. Again, I will repeat the same thing. Just start every day. First thing in the morning, take 15 minutes. Just do this and never stop. Do mm-hmm. this every day. 50 minutes, first thing in the morning, be in the emptiness and ask for the angels and the universe God to support you and be in that space for 15 minutes 15 in the beginning one, five. Maybe... one five 15 minutes one five got it but 15 okay, minutes yes, Nico's yes question for you because I I don't know about the viewers listening to this interview I'll tell you man beyond three four minutes my mind starts wondering and to attempt to be still to get to 15 minutes I have not even reached that point yet nikos will be right back with us where's nikos where's nikos he's back already that was really quick um, nikos i was saying the 15 minutes uh just like exercise i exercise about uh just five minutes every day and yet my body is transforming because it's very effective exercise so i need to apply the 15 minutes i've got a challenge i'm sure some people do Beyond the three four minutes man to be still my mind starts wondering how do you how do you Keep it quiet <laughs> for 15 exactly. minutes. So, so in the beginning, when you start doing this process, 
don't think that you must at all cost empty your mind. Ah. Already, already by observing your thoughts and being aware of your thoughts, whatever thoughts that come, just put your watch on and stay there 15 minutes. And what will happen after doing this repetitively every day, at some point, you will have like a space between two thoughts. You will, you, even if it's a millisecond, this is what we look for. We look for this space, this this millisecond of moment wow. that, that, that there is no thought. Even if you have 50 minutes full of thoughts, You're looking for you that. will have this space, there is no thought. That little slice. And if you keep on doing this every day, this, this space will start growing and growing and growing and growing. Yes. So, so that space being growing, growing, we create also this shift in your reality. You realize there is no time. Yeah. There is a limited time. Like there is, there is always time to do everything and everything always works out good in our lives and all is well. So it's just about putting order in this machine this amazing technology that we have, the spirit, boy, body, mind complex we have together, working together as one. When you do this, when you just have this millisecond of no thought, Oof. this is already start to work. We start to put the machine into the wheels. And what happens is this train that starts from zero has now building momentum. And this momentum that it builds, the, 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 the thoughts that create this negativity in our lives, now we have the other train that starts to take speed and the momentum of the other one starts to, to get slower and this goes faster. At a certain moment, this one train that it has like positive thinking will go much faster than the train of negative thinking. And then, and then you realize sky is the limit and that takes only 50 minutes a day to do that no more yes. than that to get started to i have friends who meditate yep yeah, go ahead go ahead and from that space everything that you want you don't need to force yourself yes you don't need to for example if you are eating everything and you want to become vegan your body naturally will shift in eating what is good for you to eat it's just awareness of what works best for you. So there's no right or wrong of way of doing things. It's just about what feels good to you. So, so what, I, what I'm getting from this conversation so far today, and, and you didn't say it, uh, I'm, I'm reading between the lines. You're, you're really telling us, don't worry about the how to's, just be in the moment, make sure you're feeling good and, and don't judge it because everything will be given to you when you decide on something. I can guarantee to you, if you ne never did meditation before and you do this 15 minutes for the first week, yeah. you will be amazed of the surprises you will get in your life. You will not believe it, what will happen in your life. Just the first week, first seven days. I am starting you will tomorrow see morning. Already, I'm starting tomorrow you morning. Will see, you will see already what will happen in your life and how much have, has changed already in the first one week. Wow. You will see, you will realize that you, you can compare your life or just one week one in difference. Week, yeah. You will a, see, you will. Go ahead. Go ahead. One week. So one week. How many of you out there listening to this interview will start tomorrow morning? First thing you get out of bed, you do your first 15 minutes and you do it. You commit for a week and be great for you guys to come back and comment on this video in one week and what has happened. I have a friend who's taught me in the past month and a half to take five minutes a day, but not to try to be quiet. He wants me to visualize what the desires that I want, already seeing the motion picture, it's already done and being gratitude and, and to do that two to three times a day. Now I've been doing it two to three times a day and there's been amazing shift, amazing manifestation, but that's a whole different conversation than what we're having today with 15 minutes with the idea that you attempt to find that one little slice of nothingness and allow it to grow from there and see how you feel and how you manifest. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. 
Wow. Don't judge it. Don't worry about the how-tos. Okay. I want to make a shift. Wow. Can you believe it? We're going on an hour already, but it's okay. We, we said, we're not going to look at the clock. We're going to let it roll. Um, I want to make yes. a shift here, uh, Nikos, if you allow me to. And um, because on your site, Please. you talk about Gesara, G-E-S-A-R-A. -S -S has to do with new financial system. What's coming of age? So we got the past, we got the present, and we're going into the very near future. There's a big transitioning happening on the planet from what we thought was an honest, I'll leave it at that, an honest financial system that served people. And some of us know that's not true. Tell us about what Gesara is and what it's going to do and where are we at with that process. Gesara, what does Gesara stand for to begin with? Yes, so um, we. I like to start from Nezara, basically, so N-E-S-A-R-I-A, okay. N -E -A, because everything starts from the um, United States of America. Okay. So uh, uh, Nezara means National Economic Security and Reform Act, and it's something that uh, it's uh, happening for a very long time, um, before even uh, GFK, uh, happened this tragic event uh, in the 90s, 1960s. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a very, very long journey. And I have sh I have shared on my website a video that anybody can watch and see where it all starts back in the 1700s with um, the uh, Constitution of America, how it was shaped with the Fathers of America and what is... Nikos will be back. The Constitution, he'll be right back. We got disconnected again. Nikos? Where's Nikos? Where's Nikos? We're talking about um, Nisara and Gesara. On his website, there are amazing videos and conversation about that from world experts on the issue. And like Nikos says, it goes back to a long time. Nikos is back. And you were on the Nisara. You were talking about the Constitution of the yes. United States. And then Nikos went, got his tea, and he's back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes. So, so um, we come back now to the uh, event of uh, 2001, yes. uh, 11 September 2001. What happened? So basically, in in this moment, what happened is that the uh, the, the offices that were uh, placed uh, in the first floor, first two floors of one of the buildings, was actually uh, the prosperity funds that were, were to be delivered for all humanity to do humanitarian work for projects and everything. And then you know what happened after that. Hmm. So what I want to tell you is that uh, this is, has been at work for a very long time and it has been stopped from with all possible ways by very, by politicians, by corrupt politicians. And uh, you can watch this, uh, this uh, video that I'm sharing. It's a three hour movie that you can watch and see the whole story what happened yeah. it starts from saint germain mm -hmm. back in the 1700s wow so it, it is related with um ascended masters and uh, and also uh, jesus sananda it's his other name it all, it's all connected so uh I, I came to know about this because jesus came to me in in my in my uh, in my visions and i had the connection and i was in the desert in ibiza and in a desert place and wow. uh, i was living a hermit life and then he came he appeared to me and he showed me that this is something that we need to bring out for more people to know so so um, so all this uh, to come back to your question about nezara this is the new financial system that is actually about benefiting each and every on the planet uh, because a lot of things happened that were not uh, working for the highest good for all so uh, this is uh, basically uh, um, monies and gold that has been stolen from humanity and with, from so many dark energies working on the planet and yet at the same time what I want to say is the shift that is happening now on the planet is because there is a collective uh, we are reaching a state of consciousness that is rising more and more become more aware of the truth what's happening and so this change of vibration from within out brings also the new financial system so this is the work we are doing. The more we go within and feel good, we also assist to bring this forward because we want everybody to be abundant and prosperous in their life and be healthy and bring these new technologies 
We're speaking about med beds, uh, uh, celestial chambers, and uh, new healing technologies, and so much to come on the planet. We are shifting basically uh, the uh, as 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 a planet. We are moving into becoming a galactic society. So we're becoming part of the galaxy. So this is Nazara basically is the tool to assist each and everyone along this journey to help everybody because it's not about the money it is about assisting everyone on the service to feel good to feel more than fine to evolve higher more connected to source within so Nasara Gasara. So some people are in tune with it. They've been observing it for a while. And I have some personal friends say, well, there's no proof that this is real, that it's happening. What do you have to say about that? Because I think I, I saw something in your blog about 3 billion people on the planet already made conversions yes. into cryptocurrency accounts, which is all the, part of the process, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. It's already happening on the planet in the way that uh, we now see the BRICS countries, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, now we know that the ruble, the Russian ruble, became gold-backed. Yes. So this means that I'm gonna go. A little, I'm gonna go a little bit faster now. About what is taking place? I'm gonna accelerate uh, now this conversation. Okay. Um, this is Godspeed in in what gotcha. we know right now. Uh, so what is happening on the planet right now is that we have a big part of the planet, the BRICS countries, there's 33 billion people, they're already into this gold-backed gold uh, uh, currency already through the new financial system. And the old financial system was about fiat currency. It's, it's dying, basically. It's completely, it's going to be gone not, so, not very long in the future. It's going to be gone very, very soon. And not to bring panic to anyone, this is going to be smooth, as smooth as it, as it can be. And your money is not going to be lost, even if it, it is in the bank. It's just a process of changing this way of speaking and uh, assisting each and everyone and, and get our rights back, our, our uh, sovereign rights back. So, so it goes along with how we feel within our energy. And so gaining back our sovereignty. And so... Um, this is now happening with the planet and even even if you don't believe the words nazara and jazara it's it's okay because these words won't be mentioned much in purpose also because that's politics that's how politics work they don't speak directly about this work these words but there are other words being used and if you look in between the lines and if you start watching a little bit reading a little bit and you start to educate yourselves about what took place and and see a little bit another side of the story that's how i bring it forward so the more people get educated about this and the more people watch this three-hour video and also read my uh my uh my website this link uh that i'm it's in the, the one of the main pages now on my website then you can start having a direction and actually basically what is happening now i'm speeding up you know for sure bitcoin and Bitcoin was not backed for anything so far. Right. And now we'll be having a lot, a lot of cryptocurrencies, which is basically not anymore cryptocurrencies. It's, it's named digital asset-backed digital currencies, mm. which will be uh, 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 supported only those who are supported by the central banking digital currency. So these are the, the uh, specific ones that are supported by each country. Those will bring the new financial system. So we're shifting to that. And this is also known as the, the RV. Yeah, the revaluation of currencies on the planet bring everything on, on a level playing field for all countries. Mm. So there is no more third world countries. The third world countries will be assisted with huge amounts of money to assist them to become also Nikos will be right back. He will be right back. Bobby D here. We're live with Nikos in um, Greece, and uh, he's on a slower connection in the remote part of Greece. He's talking about uh, Nasara, Gesara, uh, BRICS country, Brazil, Russia, India, South Africa, 
Uh, Bricks, I'm missing one. Bricks, but we'll come back. Nikos is back with us. Nikos, 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 you are back. I'm here. Yeah, so asset back. Fiat, some people may never have heard the fiat. Fiat is a a, a money system that's been used for a long, long time, but had no gold back assets. Basically, it was worthless money that they pretended was worth something. Is that basically what fiat? Absolutely. Yeah, so now it's all gold back. Digital. Okay, crypto. so let us let us make a distinction a little bit about this. Yes. So fact. the money itself, let's say the spirit of money, it, it's good. It's love. It's mm. it's energy of God. There is no uh, no bad meaning to the money itself. The energy of the money, the spirit of the money. So whatever way you use it, we have to think as a good energy to uh, as an energy of love. So we have to shift a little bit uh, our, our thoughts and, and uh, thinking about many people think that bad, money is bad. No, money is good and it's a way to work. It's a tool to do anything like any other tool. So it's, it's a frequency of love. So till now we had this fiat currency that supported us in this three dimensional experience. And now we become more aware and now we will have more with this new financial system, we will not be hacked or stolen behind our backs because the, the money that the system that we had before, most people don't know this, but our governments did not look for the highest good, did not support us. So this is shifting and this is exactly the system that is going to be taking care of each and every one on the planet. So uh, everybody's safe. And at the same time, everybody else is safe, so the money will not be able, will not be able to, to be used to create war oh, okay. uh, or uh, to do uh, to buy drugs, to do uh, drug uh, uh, yes, yeah. anything with uh, anything that is uh, harming somebody else. So it's all controlled with the satellite system, the Starlink system. So, for example, when you make a transaction and you buy something, the system goes back and forward, checking exactly where the money goes, it's not about controlling us. It's about controlling the peace on the planet. It's about cleaning the highest up. good for all. It's about benefiting everyone. So I believe the biggest majority of the planet, if not all, there are good willing people that we all want to to have, to, to, that to know that everybody else also is happy and abundant and prosperous. I believe that the big, biggest majority of the planet is like that. So what's happening right now is cleaning up all that it doesn't work anymore and then we bring forward this new one. So it takes some time Trans and we are on this and 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 all these things that that happened that they said that Nazareth is not true. Well, now we start to see signs that it, it, it is true. We just have to have the eyes to see them. And of basically what I have through my website, you can see there is some signs there that show that there's some some line there going that direction. You got to know, well, first of all, you have to have the awareness and then you got to know where to look for. If you don't have the awareness, then you don't know where to look for. You have a very different take on, on money and I love everything you're saying. You said money is love energy, but you have a different take. Some people like, for example, pay their bills and they're angry. Oh, I got to pay that bill again. How counterproductive is that to attract more? And what's your take about Every time you put, you have a philosophy about every time you put out a dollar, either in yes. contribution or share that with the viewers because it's yes. simply profound and beautiful. Yes, I, I have a principle in my life that I do this now for a few years already. So I was in this time of, of my life that I was not aware of these things as an artist and uh, I was not giving any money to charity. I was just being good with others but not in that way with specifically with money yeah so so what i did uh, since a few years already i educated myself and i found out this very simple thing to do basically uh 10 percent of my income every month i'm giving it to any kind of charity so it can be homeless it can be children in africa i, I always give it to some charity I trust because not charities are good to trust. Yeah, I have found a few charities that I know that the money goes right to the people that are in need. And I also support many uh, 
spiritual, let's say, uh, uh, guide, guides. So it goes in, in, in many different directions, the, the money I spend. And this 10% basically is, I have a, a way of speaking, I say, um, all the money that I give is blessed and comes back to me tenfold. So wow. if, for example, I have 1,000 euros in a month and I give 100 euros, I know that this money is going to come back to me. I don't, I don't, I don't think how it will come back to me. Maybe there is somebody who plays for my utility bills. Maybe somebody, something else happens. So it doesn't matter. But this money, I trust God, Creator, Source. It is the gift I'm giving to uh, God for my for my my appreciation for my gift of life. And just by doing that, this simple thing. I never have. I always have enough money. I never miss any yeah, money. I beautiful. just, but but I give money, you know, because if you want to receive something, we have to give of what we want to have back. Yeah. So if you give food, you're gonna have back food. If you give uh, music, you're gonna have a lot of music. So you need to give money if you want to have back money coming back to you. Give love. This is the principle I use, and it, it, it works perfectly. It does. Beautiful. So the law of multiplication and you don't worry about how it's going to come back. And, you, and, and really, you, you probably I don't want to put words in your mouth. You probably don't care if it comes back or not, but you know that it's coming back because you never run out. So you have that. I feel more than fine about money energy. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. So because I feel it, it's true. You know, when 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 I'm sending money, it's like I feel like, wow, you know, it's like my heart is opening. And I have this amazing feeling within that fills me. It's like it's like better than meditation. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. it's like helping and giving is the, work. the greatest feeling in the world. And now on the flip side of that, like okay, we can give of our time or we can give the money if we have it, right? And even when we don't have it, we can still give some money to a homeless, like a pocket change to a homeless. But on the flip side of that, Nikos, when we can't, because we've been in places without the consciousness yes. at one time. Man, oh man, do we feel lousy when we don't help, <laughs> right? I have, uh, no, yeah, but but this is the, the way. Oh, Nikos will be back. Where's Nikos, where's Nikos? We're gonna call it Where's Nikos live on Bobby D Live, but uh, he'll be back. Just he refreshes his browser. But that's an interesting uh, conversation about giving and um, I want to share something with Nikos because I was sharing something with another amazing soul a few days ago. And um, and uh, there you're back about the giving, Nikos, uh, yes. and you come back. But so, I, I just want I just want to add this before you, you give us your 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 final input insight. The, I used to say the giver always wins, you know, but it's love that always wins. You got to give with love, but you've yeah. got such an amazing giving spirit Absolutely. so it's it's, love. yes it's love so, so when you when you uh i always give from a place that i feel loving myself first before i give i don't give just like that you know i i feel i need to feel good within me before i give i'm not giving it because i'm expecting something back i put myself first in this space of loving myself enough so we say selfish is not a good thing i say selfish is a very good thing yeah you need to be selfish before you start giving yeah. so give yourself first yes yeah. and then then you can give from that space yes and it's... that's creating this energy because if you just give and you're empty within then it's not the same no it, it, because you can feel right away that it's something missing from you and you can feel even even worse when you start to give so it's not about that Don't and i will it. add something more yes i will add something more because you spoke before about the uh, uh about somebody having a, having a lot of bills to give mm -hmm. there is a way to work with that you can make a list of all the things you have to pay and you write them down and then and then and then you, you you start to pay everything and then the next month when you have to pay things you can play a game and you say for every account everything that i have to pay every utility i pay i pay also the double of it you can pay the double of it yes wow. so so by doing this 
If you keep on doing this, you will st you will start having much more money, and you will be debt free. If you start doing this process by paying the the double, it's like because the universe will create always this energy coming back to you. So the mind plays a very many tricks to stop this energy. Of course. And yet, and yet, if again, it's about allowing allowing creator the source to allow to receive the energy to any the energy the vibration coming to us of abundance it is just about opening up it's just about opening our heart and receive the energy and being the present moment and by doing this 15 year 15 minutes every day you will start seeing incredible results already also in your finances also in your health anything in your relations it works with everything Beautiful. everything it includes everything I like I like it you know you're you're saying moments ago before you give you put yourself in a state of feeling great about the giving but that goes back to what you were saying earlier about being an electromagnetic feel and and, and you cross-reference the Japanese doctor who did studies on the vibration of water when he wrote I love you I think on the bottle of water and it changed the molecular structure what's the name of that doctor again I forget um, Masaru Emoto. Emoto. And the name of his book. Do you remember the name of his book? Because it, it was profound. It was a movie that came uh, some time ago. It was the uh, What the Bleep Do You Know? Oh, yes, you yes, that yes. That's where I, I remember. So we, what you're saying is that you're putting yourself in state of loving yourself, vibration, in the giving. And you're affecting yes. your entire electromagnetic field because we're 80% water. So if you love yourself and if you, if giving gives you joy and love, just find creative ways to do more giving. Sometimes it's not money because we all reach a point at, or a period in our lives where money was interrupted and, you know, but you can still give by providing your time and energy and talent to help other people. So many different ways to give. Nico, absolutely, you're a giver. Absolutely. You're, you're an amazing giver because I've watched you in action, man, and from personal experience, uh, you know, you've been amazing. Thank so you. I want to wrap it up. Parting words for the audience. Uh, what do you want them to do or be or how, how? what's the little golden nugget you can give them today that's going to make them feel more than fine? Well, I would say always remind, remind yourselves that's nothing more important than to feel good. Nothing is more important than to feel good. Feeling good is feeling good. So I feel more than fine. Beautiful. Nikos, we'll have you back because there's a lot of wisdom in this electromagnetic field that's sitting in front of us today. <laughs> <laughs> love you, brother. Another one here. Yeah, thank you so much. Huh? We, uh, much love. Doing, thank you so much. Thank you're you doing so much. great work. Thank you, okay. everyone. You're welcome. All right, that was Nico Zekrivos from feelingmorethanfine.eu. And go and check out his website. He posts every day, sometimes mul multiple times a day. He's amazing. It's deep in material and easy to internalize. That's what I like about his ability to communicate. Uh, thank you, Nico. That was so amazing. Thank you for sharing your love, your energy, your wisdom. And uh, remember, everyone, go to his website, Feel more than fine.eu nikos akrivos he was our guest here on april 30th at bobby d live uh, so next week oh my god we have another amazing uh being here very profound uh johan toff met him way back in 2005 from magnify your greatness he'll take you from good to gooder if that's a term we can use right from good to gooder and uh um, we're going to have him here on Bobby D Live. Very exciting. Similar way of thinking. Um, and he's going to bring it to the business world. And he has been for uh, a couple of decades now. Uh, my good buddy, Johan Ta from London, England. MagnifyYourGreatness.com. And uh, as he says, you can't fix a problem from the same level of thinking that created it. And uh, he's into the calmness, into the space. And he works with uh, Root Cause. And um, that's what we're going to be doing next week. That's who we're going to have next week. So I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much for tuning in to Bobby D Live. And uh, 
hey, remember, you want to be notified the day before of the upcoming you know, live stream with a spe special guest, in this case, uh, next week, uh, Johan Toff. Go to addme.bobbydlive.com. You'll receive VIP reminders the day before by email. All right, until next week, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.